All right, good morning, everybody. I am on my way to Little Rock right now to pick up my friend, Stephanie. We are gonna be camping in the Washington National Forest. I have a stealth spot marked on my maps. And I just kind of found it on Google that I had it marked. I don't know when I marked it. I don't know really if I've stayed at this spot before. But we're gonna go check it out. It looks like it's off of Forest Service Road. And we talked about going crystal mining again because this spot's kind of by Jesseville and that's where Ron Coleman's is. And you can dig for, for $20 a day, you can dig for crystals. I have a video from like a couple years ago that we did that. I'll link it in the description. We're just gonna see what we get into today. I think it's gonna get pretty cold tonight though. It's gonna be like 20 in the 20s. And I don't got heat in here other than my Mr. Buddy. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, should be okay there though. But anyway, figured I'd take you guys along for the journey and show y'all what we do in Arkansas for fun. It's gonna keep us full all day long. I got Steph Tom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got the Spanish channel on. <laughs> I gotta go get a little digging tool. So we're gonna stop by like Lowe's or something. Whoa, look at that crystal. 30,000. No. 30,000 dollars. Well, we got all checked in. We got our bags for our crystals. It's $25 now, it went up. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get all of our stuff together and walk down there and start digging. This is what I ended up finding to dig with. And then I got some gloves. All right, y'all, so we are walking down to the place that you can park your car. I left the van up there because it's big and I didn't want to do any parking down here, but they've got two porta potties down here and you can go and dig on here. You just can't go past the boundary lines and you can take whatever you find. They said it doesn't matter how large it is. If you can get it to your vehicle, then you can take it home with you. So. We'll see what we can get today. The best time to go is after it rains and probably on a weekday because there are a lot of people here today, but you're almost guaranteed to find a crystal out here. We found a lot last time, so we'll see what we can find this time. Look at what I just found. Let me see. Oh my gosh. Let me see, let me see. Ooh, that's what we're looking for right oh, there. Cool. Nice yeah. yeah. Pointed. First time with a good one, Kelly. Heck yeah. Just found a really good crystal. All right, we've been out here for like an hour and a half. Really? Yeah, I think so. I have this whole bag of little crystals I found. Stephanie accidentally dropped all her crystals, so she had to start over. Mm. And that's my first sip of water of the day. My little hole that I've created, and then I'm kind of going down there too. You want to find this like peanut buttery soil that's where all the the clear ones are definitely bring like your own little bag for the smaller crystals that you find because i'm putting all the big ones in this bag that they gave us but if you put the small ones in there they'll either get lost or broken i'm gonna get back to digging it's like seriously addicting now make sure you bring gloves because uh these rocks are really sharp look what i just found this is a massive it's really, really pretty. I can't wait to get that one cleaned off. Woo! 
All right, that was a successful trip, I think. Everything's covered in dirt. And uh, I got some really good crystals, so I'll show you guys those a little bit later. But like I said, we're gonna load up. I need to find Stephanie. We're gonna load up the van and go try to find that spot before it gets dark, because I'm not exactly sure where it's at. Get set up and then make dinner. All right, we are headed to our camp spot that I don't really know for sure where it is. <laughs> Brother, I got dreads like you, brother. Oh no. <laughs> All right, so the shack is like a famous place, older, like little dining, not dining. <sighs> I can't talk, I'm hungry. So we're stopping here, getting a little snack before we cook breakfast, dinner. Oh my gosh. All right, we're on the Forest Service Road. We've seen a few camp spots so far, but we're just gonna drive around and see what else we can find. Y'all, I just figured out that is the Washita Trail right there. So I'm trying to see if the there's a campsite that I went with Kelly and Cody from Dome Life. We did a vlog on it, and I think it's around this area. And if so, it'd be a really cool place to camp. But right now we're just still exploring oh my gosh y'all we just found the best freaking campsite ever look at this we have this awesome view we got a campfire already made already look at this that's nice and then the jeep will get parked right there oh boy oh boy. there's even another uh Ooh. Right there. I'm cold. <gasps> this is awesome. Yay! Oh, I love Arkansas. Look at this view. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Standing ovation. Standing ovation, in Arkansas. Standing ovation. Look at that. Look at that sunset we're gonna get. Oh my get. god. Wow, this is awesome, y'all. It is so pretty out here. So this is my outdoor light. 10 bucks at Walmart, but it's, this is, it's a magnet on the side of the van. Really bright and Convenient. The soup has cooked over the fire. I'm gonna put cheese on it. And then I have this beautiful sourdough bread from the farmer's market that I'm about to go warm up on the fire. It took so long for this, as you can see. Yeah, we got our <laughs> bread. We got the soup, and I burned a hole in my rug. 
because I put the freaking Dutch oven and my carpet's still burning under it. But anyway, <clears throat> dinner, yay! Watch out. Landon just got here, and so did Avery, and we're playing categories. Get back. Lay down. You're good. <laughs> B. B. Uh, another B. B. All right, y'all. Uh, Stephanie and Landon went to the Jeep where they'll sleep, and then I'm in my van for the night. It's cold. The wind's blowing really hard, so I'm really glad I'm in the van tonight and not in a tent because that would be really miserable on this um, ridge line. I'm gonna get all snug and warm. I have my, like, my little nest. I brought a bunch of extra blankets. It's just super, super cozy in here. Now, let me see what the temperature is in here. It's 50 degrees. That's perfect sleeping weather. Okay, well, I will catch you guys in the morning. Good night. It's very cold. <laughs> I slept really warm in here though, so that's good. I'm making everybody some hot tea right now. And I didn't bring anything for breakfast. I should have, but we're probably just gonna drink this and then make the journey back home. spot would be perfect it's just super windy and the wind makes it cold obviously we're on this mountain ridge so it makes sense but this would be an awesome spot in the summer because it'd be cooler up here there'd be a breeze and um, definitely gonna come back I got home later that afternoon and decided to wash off my crystals that I found. Eventually I'll turn these small points into jewelry. Last time I made a necklace out of one of the small crystals that I found and I wear it all the time. This was the best crystal I found on this mining trip. It's definitely the largest crystal I've ever found and I absolutely love it. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode and I will see you next time.